there are circumstances and it's like New Year's, you know, people just flood into the gym. Or perhaps, you know, you just go at a really busy time where like a lot of people like get off of work or like are off classes and they just go straight to the gym. The thing is just the gym is just flooded, it's packed, it's annoying, really. Because like you gotta wait for like some piece of equipment. It leads to a less than ideal workout, basically. So how do you like how do you deal with this, you know? Of course, we can't always just have like, you know, a non-packed gym, like a fully empty gym, and then you just go in and it's like, everything is yours. Like, no one's here. Everything is mine. You know, that would be so nice, but unfortunately, I don't think, at least in public gyms, that's going to happen. Unless you rent out the entire place, which costs lots and lots of money. But there's always a backup plan. And I'm here to tell you, I think, what, five things? Yeah, you know, like five things that will help you train in a crowded gym. First thing is, always have backup exercises on hand. Like, always know backup exercises. Like, if I'm, if my primary movement is a squat and all the squat racks and power racks are taken, what can I do instead? All right, knowing this is crucial. And to know this, you can buy my book. My book has a pretty extensive exercise list with like movement patterns. So like squat is a part of the knee flexion section. And therefore you can find like a bunch of like other knee flexions besides like the squat or like there's all the, there's, a, there's like a bunch of variations of the squat, but there's also like other <clears throat> exercises that are also knee flexions, but are all not squats. Right. So you can have those. And it also has programming information, which is like how you, how you train like over time, like what you do, also, more importantly, why you do it. Right? It'll teach you all that. Um, it covers like injuries, it covers cardio, and it also debunks some myths. Check it out in the description. Number two is to use dumbbells. Because usually all the dumbbells are not going to be taken. Like in a packed gym, there's still going to be dumbbells left. Because like, most people are going going for like the machines and like, all that stuff. Dumbbells are usually things that are not taken. Although, if it gets crowded enough, they will be taken. So, it's not the best solution, but it's certainly a better solution. And so, switch to dumbbell exercises if you can. If you are doing like, if you're gonna do barbell rows, do dumbbell rows instead, if you know, if a barbell is not available. Thirdly, ask to work in with other people. This means that when someone's like using something, you're asking them like, can I also like work? Can I also use that with you in conjunction with you? So like, you know, he, uh, let's go back to like squats. He squats and then you squat and he squats, you squat and it's just back and forth. And this basically allows you to like actually get in a workout instead of just waiting, which saves you a lot of time because you're working out while they're resting. And so it works out. The best exercises that work with this are like machines. Cause like it's, it's really easy to like shift the weight unless it's plate loaded but even then it's pretty easy um other things are like barbell exercises because those, those are fairly easy and even with like different exercises because like in a squat rack a barbell and a squat rack can mean a lot of different exercises like it can mean a squat like a bar back squat front squat whatever squat it can also mean good mornings uh, it can mean overhead press it can mean a lot of things if like a barbell is in a squat rack where you want to you also use it you can probably also use, you don't really need to alter the height at all. It's like, it's all set up. You just need to like alter the weight, maybe. And then you just need to work in. The times where working really like doesn't work is when the other person is doing supersets. Like with cable machines, they're like doing uh, like cable curls and then like cable tricep extensions. You know, they're like doing a lot of exercises at once with that one piece of equipment. I mean, sure you could. I'm sure, I'm sure you could, but it's just... It's not the most ideal. Right? It's like not like with someone who is doing one exercise only. Right? And on the flip side, if like you want to superset something, because I certainly have. Unless you mean it's not the most ideal for like for me to superset things with someone waiting. And if all three of these don't work, you just kind of had to wait, bro. Like you just gotta wait sometimes. And maybe that's because you know someone doesn't want you to work in. You know, maybe they're doing supersets. Or maybe they're just like really close to being done. That was like, okay, I'm not bothered enough with this. Or maybe they just don't like you. For some reason. 
it's possible, but for some reason, you just need to wait. Now, do you stand with and just go on your phone? Probably not. Uh, probably not. While you are waiting, you want to keep your muscles warm. You want to at least warm up with what you can do. If you're waiting for barbell squats, just do regular squats, like just body weight squats. Like warm up your legs, right? Move around your joints, you know, if you can, do pistol squats. Right? Like do things that will actually warm up your joints and use your muscles. Right? Like don't just stand there and just like wait, it's like, mm, da -ba -da -ba -da, I'm just wait and wait and wait and like don't do that. Right? Like warm up your muscles. So once you have gotten the piece of equipment that you have, bro, mark your territory. Like, I don't care if you like pee on it or something, just mark your territory. Like you need to mark it with something. Like use a water bottle, use your phone, use whatever. Just mark it with something. Because otherwise, someone's gonna take it. And a friend of mine, quite recently, was doing squats. He went to the bathroom for like a couple minutes and someone just took it. <laughs> yeah. So. Mark your territory, lest other people will take it. And I hope these five things have helped you. I hope you keep these in mind the next time you go to like a crowded gym, you know, what I should do, you know, in case like something is taken, um, if I'm waiting, what should I do? <clears throat> when I'm using this thing, what should I do so that I ensure that it doesn't get stolen from me? And so that is how to train in a crowded gym.